Okay, so we have these two airplanes. I want to find the position vector of the first aircraft. So the first aircraft has a position vector starting at 5j. And I'm in three dimensions, so my first one, r1, is going to be 0, 5, 0, plus t, uh, 3, minus 4, 1. That's the position vector. R1 is the position vector of aircraft 1 at time t. Now I want to find show that the time that is at t and the distance d between the two aircrafts is given by this. So to do that, I need to find the distance at any time between the two aircraft. Well, let me get an equation for the second aircraft, and then we'll talk about what we're going to have. So I get 0, 0, 0, 0, 7, plus t, and this is 5, 2, minus 1. Well, what's going on here is I pretend I have, here's my first airplane going here, and here's my second airplane. Okay, well, let maybe eventually they're going to collide, so maybe they're going like this. Okay. Then at any given time, though, there's another vector here that represents the distance. And that vector, it changes. That It gets smaller. I'm not doing a very good job making it go smaller, but it gets smaller as time goes on. And maybe even it, it swings around a little bit. So it has this kind of, maybe it's going to be going like this, because maybe the one is going faster than the other. But that distance is changing with respect as time is changing. But I can look for this actual distance vector. And to do so, on this is my first line here. Every single point on this line can be shown as 3t, 5 minus 4t, minus 4t. and 1t. That's every single point in this line. On this line down here, this point is shown by 5t, 2t, and 7 minus t. The distance d vector between those, if I want to find the d vector, let me do that in green so we know. We'll talk about this green vector. Oh, this green vector here, this green vector is d. d is going to be this vector, subtract that vector. So 5t minus 3t is 2t. 2t minus this, so 2t minus parentheses 5 minus 4t. And then 7 minus t minus t, which is 2t uh, six, five, minus 5 plus 6t, and then 7 minus 2t. That is the distance vector here. And it says, I want to show that the distance between them is given by d squared as such. Well. If I want to find the distance between, that's the distance vector, I want to find the magnitude of the distance, which I know is going to be the square root of 2t squared plus minus 5 plus 6t squared plus 7 minus 2t squared. If I expand this out, I get 4t squared plus 25 minus 60t plus 36t squared plus 49 minus 28t plus 4t squared, which is then, if I collect all my t's together, 36 plus 4 plus 4 more is 44, 44t squared. I got a 28 and a 60, both negative, will give me a negative 88t. 49 
plus that will give me plus 74. So d squared is going to be this. And let's hope that it's the same as what I was asked to show. Indeed it is. That's d squared. C part says show that the two aircrafts will not collide. Well, to show that the aircrafts are not going to collide, okay, that means when they intersect each other, these times are not the same. So I'm going to find, I'm going to set the x value equal to the x value, the y to the y, and the z to the z. So I'm going to say that 3t, and I can use these values here, I can say that 3t, here's the x, is equal to 5t. That's the x. And then I can say that 5 minus 4t, 4t is equal to 2t. Um, and then finally, the last equation will be t equal to t equal to 7 minus t. Now for each of these, I'm going to solve for t. Because that means they all have the same x, y point, z point, at the same time. So here I get uh, 2t is equal to 0, so t equals 0. Here I get 5 is equal to 6t, and so t is equal to 5 sixths. And here I get 7 is equal to 2t, and t is equal to 7 over 2. All these t's are different, therefore not the same time. So no crash. So no crash. If all these t values would have been the same, then that would have meant that the, the x value, the y value, and the z value would all have been equal. So the z value is equal to this, z1 equal to z2, let's say, at a, at a time. At the same time, all three values are equal then they intersect and they crash at that same time. And then finally it says find the minimum distance between the two aircraft. Minimum. There's a bunch of different ways I can do it. I can do it by taking the derivative of the distance. The derivative. I also know the distance. This is the distance. The square root of this is the distance. So I can find the minimum point on my calculator. And that's what I'm going to do, that's the easiest thing to do, is that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to clear off this, and I'm going to put in my equation. So 44x squared minus 88x plus 74, and I'm going to put that to the power point 5, because that is my actual distance equation. Uh, I'll think about my window. I know time is positive. It's, my x value is time. Um, I don't know how long they've been traveling. Let's say, say 15. I have no idea. And the distances they're traveling, their positions, mm, they all are positive to start with. That one's going to get negative. Uh, I don't know, I'm just going to guess some numbers now. And we'll say this is 20. Let's graph it and see what happens. Ah, here we go. Right there is my minimum. Use my calculator. Find the minimum. My left bound. I'm going to call that 1. Hope that's far enough over. Mm, 2 may not be far enough over. Minimum uh, x equal 1. The minimum occurs when x equals 1. So the minimum when t equals 1. x is referring to t. And so it wants to know the minimum value, and that happens at 5.48. And the distance is equal to 5.48. And I get that from my calculator. I'm just going to double check this. I didn't, when I do the minimum, I'm scared I didn't actually catch the right value. Ooh, one. 
Yeah, there we go. So there is our minimum. So we're able to find the position vector, the distance, show that they don't collide, and the minimum distance.